Hello, welcome to this video where we look in depth at how the derivative relates to the function. We know how to take derivatives. What information can we get out of the derivative? Well, we're going to connect any function to its derivative. And that could be even taken to the next level where it, you can look at its derivative and it can tell you about its second derivative. All right. And so if a function has a graph where the tangent line slopes are positive, then you can say that that function's derivative is positive and the function is increasing. We've said it earlier. Now we're just going to say it officially here. Okay. If you're looking at the graph, though, of the derivative, that'll happen, you know, when, when, a, when a function is positive, the graph, if, if f prime is positive, that means that its graph is above the x-axis. What we're going to be able to do is basically start with a derivative graph and get information about the function. A lot of information. And so we're going to be looking for places where the graph of the derivative is above the x-axis. Because that's going to correspond to where your function is increasing at. All right. What about flipping that? If your function has negative slopes, your function is decreasing. That makes your derivative negative. That means your derivative is negative. Yet looking at the graph of the derivative, you're looking for places where your derivative dips below the x-axis because that's what it means to be negative, have negative values. All right. Well, what about when it's equal to zero? But that's going to be an important place for us. We're going to find, we'll spend a lot of time there trying to figure out where derivative is equal to zero at. Your tangent line is neither positive sloping or negative sloping. Your function is neither increasing nor decreasing. You have a horizontal tangent line. What does that mean about the actual derivative? Uh, derivative is equal to zero. And uh, when, when, when something, if you're looking at the graph of the derivative, what does it mean to be equal to zero? It means it comes into contact with the x-axis. It may not go through the x-axis, but at least touches the x-axis. So you can be looking for places where, you, where your derivative graph touches the x-axis because those correspond to places where your derivative will be equal to zero. All right. Let's go to a graph. All right. So here's a graph of the derivative of a function. It's the derivative graph. So what are you looking for? That middle column. You're looking for, well, the column that was on the right-hand side. You're looking for places where the graph is above the x-axis. This is the derivative we're talking about. And so it's above the x-axis for the first part, from 0 to a half. That means your function is increasing. Then it dips below the x-axis. Oh, it's equal to 0 there. Okay. Then it dips below the x-axis all the way to x equals 2. You can say that your function is decreasing on those x's. It's equal to zero there. Then it's above the x-axis again, up until three. So your function's back to increasing again. But then your function switches because the graph of the derivative goes below the x-axis. That means you're back to decreasing. So we're going to find out with the first derivative test in the next video that when you change from increasing to decreasing, that's a local max if your derivative is zero. And when you change from decreasing to increasing and your derivative is zero, that's going to be a local min from decreasing to increasing. And so we can look deeper that than, than that, though. From the slopes of this, we can say something about its derivative. This thing has downward sloping tangent lines up until a certain point. The derivative is decreasing up until a certain point. What does that mean about its derivative? It's negative. The derivative of the derivative is the second derivative. And we're going to find out later that that's a place, or those will be x, those will be intervals where your function has a certain kind of shape. We'll define it later, but it's called concave down. Okay. We have this place where your sec second derivative is, e well, we'll find out what's going on at that place there. We're going to split it here because then all of a sudden your derivative starts increasing at that point. Positive sloping tangent lines. So your derivative is increasing 
that means that your second derivative is positive, and instead of concave down, the shape is going to be called concave up. We'll talk about what that means in another video. The video is right after this. Okay. And then finally, you're going to switch from in increasing back down to decreasing for the rest of the time there. And so, yeah, first derivative decreasing means second derivative is negative, means function is concave down. All of this information coming from the derivative graph. Pretty amazing. All right, this video is getting a little long. In the next video, I introduce the first derivative test. We'll look at some examples, and we can come back to this and be able to label local max and local min from this graph. My name is Nakai Rimmer. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Comment down below. Let me know what else you want to see videos on. I'm making these videos for my class, but they're for anyone. And hopefully you enjoy it. Hopefully it was helpful to you. See you in the next video.